Ahoy mates, I am the River Pirate. Welcome to my channel, the River Pirate 13. Please stab that subscribe button. Today we're going to review a cabin aboard the MSC Seaside. Cabin 9086. So, hold fast. <laughs> So, I'm going to put my diamond level card on this entry thing to walk in. Now, one thing I want to point out. This cabin, in order to keep all the lights on, you've got to put your card in it to make it work. Or the lights won't work. Alright, hang on a second. got to turn it so you can see me. <laughs> Alright. So... You say, River Pirate, you're on the MSC Seaside. Have you ever been aboard it? No. I've never aboard this 153,000 ton ship. However, I am now. So, let's uh, see how the cabin turns out. Let's start with the head on the ship. It's not a bathroom, by the way. It's called a head. Just one letter bay now. Hold on. All right. So let's hit the light switch. And here we go. All right. One thing I noticed about this head is it's got a glass shower door. And we open it. <laughs> this isn't a curtain. This is a real shower door. So how does this benefit? It doesn't leak. There's no water all over the floor. This is great. And they also have a thing on the top to hang your wet clothes. And as I come over this way, we've got the toilet. We've got water glasses. And these are, so if you're thirsty, they're kind of cool. They're square. And then if I come over the way over this way, I've got a triangle sink. There's some storage underneath here, not a whole lot, but the trash is under there. And then you've got some tower hangers and so forth. And then more here. All right. And then you've got a big mirror to look at yourself to see how great you are. All right. Let's go through the cabin storage. So you get a safe. You get some storage here. You get some drawers all the way down. You got one side of the closet, pull the door that way, where you can store things. But more importantly, let me pull it this way. You've got more storage. Now, I forgot, in order to pull it all the way through, you've got to pull the door all the way. And then it works. But not a whole lot of storage, but more than... Um, than I was expecting. Now you get a reading light and you get a nice accent light and then you get this light here which turns all the cabin lights on. Got some light nice artwork and you're saying River Pirate what's that door doing there? That's if you want to uh, reserve two cabins you can have a pass-through door. Alright let's keep going. You get a couch you get some storage by your um, bed and you get some nice artwork then you get this really nice mirror and let me hit the lights on for the mirror um, interesting enough the mirror doesn't light out around it it just lights up in front of it so it's it's nice and then here I'd ordered the Bon Voyage package so end up with fruit champagne glasses and desserts. So, not bad. But, balcony cabins. Why do we get them? Well, it's not for the cabin part. It's for this. So, we get up here. It's unlocked. Pull the door open. And now we're on the balcony. 
So you say, River Pirate, how big is this balcony? And if you hold on a second, lens was fogging up. This is Ocean Key, and this is the view you get from your balcony. And we're on uh, balcony 9086. So we're one deck above this sort of walk around spot on the cruise ship that kind of doesn't go around the whole ship, but it goes around most of it. Um, and this is a view of Ocean Key. And as I pan out, we're about 20 miles south of Bimini. So, let's get into position so we can see. Was this balcony cabin, how does it compare to Royal Caribbean or Carnival? Well, one thing I will say about the balcony itself, the space between the door and the edge of the ship and the railing, I would say is at least two feet wider. So, is it a good sized balcony? Yes. Um, how does the balcony stack up? Well, I would say it is slightly smaller than the one on most of the Carnival ships. Um, however, it's good size. It's not small. It, 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 I would say it's comparable to the Royal Caribbean standard balcony cabin. So, you ask me, is, let me get here where you can see me better, is MSC Cruises, or the Seaside, MSC Seaside, is it worth to get a balcony cabin? I would say absolutely yes. Is my hat crooked? Yeah, it is a little crooked. Sorry, let me turn that way. Okay, that's better. Um, yes. I would say, if you can afford it, uh, MSC offers a really good choice in balconies, cabins, and it's worth the extra money. Uh, one other thing I want to show you real quick. Let me flip it this way. You do get a refrigerator down here with lots of, a lot of liquor in it. Now, you got to pay for this liquor, but liquor it is. And you get a little um, kind of cool looking... Um, Oh, I know, trash can and um, stool. So, and there is a camera right here. I, I mean, a TV screen, LCD. Um, so much larger than the one I saw in the Carnival Freedom last time I was aboard. Um, but, um, yeah. So, this is the end of my balcony review. Um can't really see me sorry let me get over this way okay that's better this is my end of my balcony review of the MSC Seaside and the MSC side is at 153,000 tons is the largest cruise ship this pirate has been on <laughs> so with that hold fast